Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take apart and replace the LCD on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Alright, so this one has the screen cracked, the LCD has damage on it. So I'm going to be showing you how to take it completely apart and replacing the LCD part of it. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to give it heat here in the back cover. Uh, you can do it with a hair dryer, heat gun, or you can put it on a hot plate. Uh, that will heat it up just enough uh, to be able to remove uh, the back cover because it's held down with adhesive um, some glue on there alright so I'm gonna heat it up and I'm gonna continue recording now once it's hot enough and show you how to remove the back cover alright so I already gave it some heat uh, it looks like it's hot enough now alright so what we're gonna use is a suction cup place it on the bottom portion of the phone and then we're gonna pry it, pull up on it so we so it lifts up just enough to put the prying tool all right so as you can see it opened up with some pressure so let's stick this plastic prying tool in here Alright, so once you have this in, in here, you can pretty much just go around the phone, uh, removing the adhesive. All right, so yeah, uh, after you go around the whole phone, the back cover will come right off. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to remove all of these screws uh, holding on these uh, this back frame here. We're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver and remove all of these screws. Okay, so once you have all of these screws removed, we can remove. Uh, we can start removing uh, the back pieces here uh, that are on the back of the phone. Okay, so let's pry up on it gently. We can use the prying tool to lift up on it. Alright, so the bottom piece comes off. 
Uh, then we can remove the middle piece here. Lift up on it gently. All right. Okay, so that comes out as well. And then let's remove the top piece. Okay, so once you have all of these pieces removed, then uh, next step is we're gonna disconnect all the flex cables. Let's disconnect the battery first, which is this one right here. Make sure the phone turns off now. Uh, let's remove the front camera flex cable. This little flex cable over here, which is for the volume buttons. All right, this one down here for the power button. The LCD flex cable. All right, we're going to remove the white and red antenna. Lift them up. And we're going to remove this flex cable right here, which is for the uh, home button. And then there's also going to be another flex cable right here for the ear speaker. All right, one more thing we're going to need to do before we remove the motherboard is we're going to have to remove the SIM card tray. SIM card and SD card tray. Let's put that to the side. Okay, once that's out of the way, uh, we can go ahead and pry up and the motherboard will lift up. Okay, and then we're going to need to disconnect the charger port flex cable which is connected on the bottom. So let's give it some pressure. There you go, and it disconnects. <clears throat> Alright, so let's move the motherboard out of the way. Put this camera to the side. Okay, so next thing we're going to need to do is uh, we're going to have to give it some more heat on the LCD here uh, and glass because we're going to be prying up on it to remove the old LCD so that we can install the new one. Alright, so yeah, I put it on the hot plate for a couple more minutes uh, and it definitely feels like it's hot enough now. <laughs> All right, so once uh, once you feel that it, it's hot enough, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get the screen. Uh, it's good. It's a good idea to use gloves or uh, something in your hand so you don't get burnt. I'm gonna grab it with this. All right. So next thing we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna pry up on the top and just wedge a prying tool in there to begin to lift up the glass from the frame. All right, so then we're going to begin to pry up a little bit harder on it. Let's lift up on it. Okay, so and the LCD cable is going to uh, go in through the hole here and come out.
Okay, and then we're going to be careful towards the bottom here because the menu and back buttons are uh, glued onto the frame as well. So yeah, you're going to want to use uh, some kind of uh, prying tool or some kind of tool that you can use to hold down uh, the back buttons down here so that it doesn't come up with the glass. Alright, so the screen came out completely. Okay, so once the glass is removed completely, uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, go around the frame carefully and check that there are no uh, glass uh, pieces or anything left around the frame that might damage the new LCD when we put it in. So let's just inspect uh, around the, f the foam on the adhesive to make sure there's no... Um, that there's no pieces left on there alright so once you have uh, the frame and the adhesive cleared of any glass or any pieces that may be left on there we're gonna go ahead and install the new LCD okay so we're gonna place it in through here make sure that the ear speaker mesh is on the home button is on correctly alright we're gonna place in the cable through the hole through the flex hole all right, and let's position it correctly. Okay. All right, so once the LCD is in there, let's give it some pressure so that it can stick onto the frame better. Alright, so after after we're done giving it pressure, uh, let's go ahead and place the motherboard back in. Connect the flex cable first. Move the antennas out of the way and the battery cable out of the way. Okay, let's lift up this cable. Mm -hmm. Alright, give it some pressure so that the motherboard falls in there completely. And now let's connect all of the flex cables.
All right, let's go ahead and place the camera back in, front facing camera. All right, once all the cables are connected, all right, let's go ahead and place the back pieces of the frame back on. All right, let's put the middle one in first. Let's place the top one. And let's place the bottom one. All right, so once we're done putting uh, this, uh, the back frame back on, we're gonna go ahead and place all of the Phillips head screws back on. Alright, so after uh, all the Phillips head screws are back in, let's go ahead and place the SD card and SIM card tray back in. Alright, and then after that, let's go ahead and place the back cover back on. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and power the phone on so that we can test it out. All right, so yep, yeah, looks like uh, uh, everything's installed correctly again, and the LCD is working fine. Um, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks. Bye.